to the children, we can write under their, uh, what they delivered in portfolio. Uh, but for the younger kids, reading isn't an option. So the parents could read it. But for the younger kids, we see more that um, we call with students. And we use FaceTime or WebEx. Uh, well, what is, uh, well, what's working actually, uh, because when you're calling with the children, you can talk to them and discuss what they created or what they're doing or see their living room or their animal or whatever kind of things all they are going to show you when you're calling with them. Because the, uh, well, I experience a lot of freedom with the kids that they're, you know, just showing around a lot of things in their house because they just wanted to show you things. Yeah. And I think there's always something about magical between the teacher and the child. So the parents can say, no, you have to do your homework. And they think, no, <laughs> I want to play. And if the teacher is saying it's, oh, okay. Um, there's because they really, especially when they're younger and they're four or five years old, they um, want to do it for the teacher. So uh, that's why we communicate. Oh, there's every day, there's a moment they can call with us. They can video call with us so they can see us and we can have a little a small conversation uh, with each other. Yeah, and I think it's important to have the conversation because, you know, education is a lot about connection and getting to know how the other is uh, for the teacher, how the student is and uh, the other way around as well. So I think the, the video call makes it a better to, you know, get them, get them intact in contact with us.